It's been a long time without you, my friend. Well, let's get it. I don't know when I see you again. Metal Falls High, baby. Let's go. Metal Falls one of my very first decks, and I love this deck so much. And I finally cracked the code. This deck is absolutely broken when the new Dark Magician support comes out that searches Magician Souls. So you guys want to see some 7 to gate Metal Falls action? Make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and let's get straight into this video. Wait! Also, go get the beautiful Trump Gaming! Metal Falls! Metal Falls, baby! Metal Falls last year playing that. We literally only have 20 left. 20 Metal Falls Warrior playmats. Go get in the description. It will only be available literally just for today. 24 hour Metal Falls special because I know for a fact it's going to sell out in one hour. So literally get your playmats while you can. If it's not on the site and you're watching this video a little late, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. But get it right now. Also shout out Marcus Oliveira, Midnight Dreams for the very cool artwork over here of the Warrior Electromite. Let's fucking go baby! I'm so excited to show you guys Electrum and Metal Falls and everything. Obviously, we're not going to play with Electrum, but one day my baby's coming back, baby. Anyways, let's get straight into it. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and let's go. I want you to see my hand over here, okay? This deck is like fucking insane. So instantly when you see this, you're going to see Lone Fire Blossom and ask yourself, uh, Trip, uh, what the fuck? Well, this hand's fucking broken. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to Lone Fire and bring up Balbaboon. Balbaboon's effect says draw one, put one back. So you see this hand, I'm going to put back a prep of rights. I don't really need a prep of rights. What I'm going to do in this scenario now is I'm going to scale Volflame and I'm going to pop Balbaboon. Balbaboon's effect says when it gets destroyed by battle or card effect, special summon any number of Balbaboons from your deck and all their effects resolve. So then you special two Balbaboons and use both of their effects. So Balbaboon effect number one, draw, put back the fusion spell. You don't want to draw these fusion spells. You don't want to draw like the extra Magician Souls. The reason why you're playing Balbaboon is because you're playing so many ways to Magician Souls that if you draw too many, you put it back. Now you never brick. And because Souls also fixes your hand, you have 15 insane starters with Balbaboon and Magician Souls. You literally never brick. You have 15 crazy starters. See one of them and you win. All right, next, we draw another one, Metal Falls Fusion. We just put that back. Activate Preparation of Rights. Search this, effect, search souls, put that back, special souls, send this or send jackal, whatever you want. You could send, you can play one jackal. I opt, I opt to play one jackal simply because you have so many ways to magician souls that you might as well. It's a free negate that comes up a lot and helps you play around Appaloosa a lot. In this scenario, I'm going to, uh, so I put the jackal. I also, what you could do if you want is send three Lone Fire Blossom instead of one. This will give you a better chance of drawing good cards from the Lone Fire, from the Baba Boons. But it doesn't really matter. If you play three Lone Fire, three Battle Boom, that's the engine. I opt to just use three here, but it's fine. I'm going to use Melcaster Effect now to set. And then in this scenario, I'm going to use Souls, send two, draw two, add two, because of Metal Boss combination. Now look at that. This is fucking crazy. I have five cards in hand, four cards in field, and I didn't even Pendulum Summon yet. So right now I have one spell. It's all you need, and you play so many. Just activate, go into Selene, Selene Special Jackal, activate a scale, Effect Melcaster. Two counters. Now even if he ever loses, he's, he's dead. So I mean, even if he Nibiru's. And if he nibiru before, my jack will get a counter. I have five fucking cards in my hand. We don't give a fuck, bro. We don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck. And then on top of that, we play. you could play Link Spider if you want to. Link Spider could turn his Nibiru token into a card. Special Metal Foes. Go to Cross Sheep and continue playing freely. So if he Nibiru tokens, it helps us. Thanks for the token, bro. I'll make Link Spider with that shit. Anyways, we're going to go off here. This is before our Pendulum Summon, by the way. All this before the Pen Summon. Metal Pulse Fusion draw was useless. We don't need it. We're going to scale here. We're going to Pendulum. I don't remember what I added with the Melcaster. I really hope it's not one of the cards that scaled. But if it was one of the cards we scaled, it doesn't matter whatsoever. You just flip the order. It's the same result. Here, we, we go abs Absolute, Volflame, Vortex. We use the effect here to pop. And this is a Mascarena over here, by the way. I just forgot to put it in the extra deck. So you have a Mascarena under Appaloosa. It's kind of Photoshopped here. Uh, that was made with the Volflame. So then we're going to use the effect here of Gold Driver out of the end phase. Now look at this. So we have Jackal, Alcahest, Vortex, Double Appalooza, 5, and we have our Masquerina, 6. That's 6 negates. We have 2 sets for the following turn. Amazing follow-up. Full scales. Great follow-up. GG. Very, very fucking insane. If I wanted to as well, I could have made 7 negates here. All I had to do is put 1 extra monster in the field, which I very easily could have. I just didn't want to. And uh, leave a Masquerina and an Absolute. That way, when Masquerina and Absolute 
Get Link Summon to Unicorn. Absolute's bounce effect also resolves to get an extra negate. So now we're gonna go on to another replay and show you guys how Metal Foles is fucking insane. And then I'll show you guys the deck list at the very end. I mean, like, look at this. Every hand literally looks the same. Like, look at this hand, okay? We have Double Painful. We literally hard draw Jackal. This is, should be considered, like, pretty shit. Seeing as you drew your souls, your best souls target, you're gonna have a useless Painful. It doesn't fucking matter. That's the beauty of Baal Baboon and Magician Souls. The beauty of these cards is that they put back every brick. And then we drew another Lone Fire, which is amazing, because now we're gonna be able to keep playing. And we don't even need a Baal Baboon. We don't even need it whatsoever. We're just gonna keep going here. Fact, in fact, pop that. Draw, pop, draw, put back, draw. All right, it, it's it's just game, game. This is GG, GG. And this hand's not even like that hand wasn't even that insane. And we're still gonna end on a board that's gonna kill them, like very easily. We're gonna put souls here, Mithrilia. We're gonna put this back. I'm gonna do a very big brain play here, where I'm gonna uh, go cost sheep. I'm gonna link Mithrilium into another Mithrilium, and then I'm gonna link that Mithrilium into another card here into Appaloosa. Uh, so that should be Appaloosa for three over here. That's Appaloosa for three. So I'm gonna put, uh, forget the unicorn, that was a mistake. This is Appaloosa for three over here. So Appaloosa for three, Mascarena, Absolute. And then because Mascarena and Absolute is gonna go into Unicorn, Unicorn is then gonna, then Vort Absolute will trigger, bring a Vortex. Vortex will bounce and negate. So this board over here has three, so forget the unicorn, it shouldn't be there. This board over here has three Appaloosa negates. Mascarena, Unicorn, four. Jackal, five. Absolute, bounce, six. And then Vortex, negate, seven. Seven negates! with Metal Foes. Now I'm gonna show you guys the deck list. This is the deck list. Obviously we need to wait for Illusion of Chaos to come out. When this card comes out, Pendulum, Metal Foes will be fucking insane, but you still need to play Baba Boon and Lone Fire, whether you're waiting for Souls or not. Uh, it's just so fucking insane. The fact that you can just recycle everything. You do need to play these, and it's okay to play a huge amount. You can even, if you really want to play Diviner, you can even play Extra Foolish Burial to send Illusion of Chaos, but you do set on your turn, so you can't really do that. Uh, so you got three souls, three illusion chaos, three prep, three battle boon, three lone fire, fucking broken. And then what you do with the battle boon is typically go into Selene. If you don't have access to the souls and just open battle boon, you go into bamboozling. The only reason you go into Selene is to play around Nibiru. That's it. So one battle boon does the same thing. It goes into bamboozling and plays around Nibiru. You just negate Nibiru. That's it. That's all you're, you're, you're scared of. And then you play freely with metal pose effects and cross sheet. Then you got uh, three volt. You want maximum level sevens. Three Volflame, three Melcaster, three Gold Driver, three Silvered. We only play two Steelin and two Bismagear because we're playing two Summoner Art. We have a lot of scale eights because of this. So you end up playing, if you calculate this together, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then three, six, nine. Exactly. You play nine high, nine low, and then two Painful, which decides one of each. So you're playing 11 high scales, 11 low scales. Magician Souls, as long as you draw one of your 22 Metal Foes, Magician Souls gets low or high because it sends combination. And that's why this is insane. If you want to play the absolutely most like consistent list ever in the universe, you can remove one Jackal and one combination. But the issue with that is the power isn't that high after that. There's scenarios where you get double hand trap and you're going to want the Jackal. You're going to want double combination because Souls will send the double combo. Because you're playing so many Souls and so many Lone Fire Baba Boons to get into the Souls, you're insane. And what's your opponent gonna do? Veiler a fucking Baba Boon? It doesn't matter. You just both flame pop it, bring two more out. It literally doesn't matter whatsoever. This deck's fucking insane. Side deck, the trip special. Three sphere, three lava, three three dark ruler, three denko, duster, reboot, one called by. As far as droll is concerned, the issue with droll, okay, I'm gonna tell you right now. Droll only hurts if you open your illusion of chaos or your preparation of rights. Actually, no, now that I think about it, Joel definitely hurts because you're going to Baba Boom before Souls and if they Joel there, it hurts. It does hurt, but I mean, you could post side deck, you could play around it by simply starting with Souls versus the Baba Boom. Uh, Stone Summoners aren't painful until after you Souls. As long as Souls resolves first, you don't care about Metal Force Fusion, about, I mean, about Joel. And even if they Joel you, you still end on something, you know, something decent. Uh, there's no Link Spider in this, ex oh, there is a Link Spider, good, okay, I thought I took it out. Play Double Mithrilium, one Ori Hulk, one Alkahest, one Link Spider, one Masquerade, one Unicorn, one Cross Sheep, Selene, Appaloosa, Access Code, Bamboozling. Uh, I played one Break Sword because going second, uh, after you get the value from Baba Boon and Lone Fire, you can go with the Break Sword and get some good value to pop a, a back row. So that's pretty cool and Absolute Vortex. Uh, I would like to play Super Poly with or with uh, the Link 3 uh, that gets rid of a monster, but that'll force me to normal summon a Metal Foes. I don't want to do that. I want to normal Baba Boon and Lone Fire. That's why we're not playing it. That's the video for you guys. I think this deck's fucking insane. I'm a huge fan of it. 
and I'll be doing a lot more with this deck. And I have a cool video for you guys coming in, maybe in a week or so where I take this deck and duel in a mirror match with it and see who comes out on top. I think this deck's fucking crazy. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Check out the amazing magician play. I mean, not magician, the amazing metaphors playment while you can, literally 24 hours only. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!